Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Donnie with Becoming Off Grid, and I'm I'm back at it again with the neutral protection circuit. Uh, this time, I'm going to be showing it on. Uh, this is an 11.4 kW uh, grow watt model auto transformer. Um, you can pick these up from Signature Solar. And they come by default, uh, they got a couple of contactors in them. I got a contactor here, contactor here. So that way you can have uh, grid input and inverter input. And uh, when one of the two of them switches off, it'll, it'll switch over automatically. It does automatic transfer stuff for you, uh, which is a really nice feature. But I, I didn't really uh, want that because I'm going to be powering mine off grid or, or with an inverter all, all the time. So I took the liberty of pulling that stuff out and simplifying, massively simplifying, the neutral protection circuit that I put together before. Uh, I'm using this uh, Growatt ES5K. <clears throat> this is a US model, um, just for those that are curious. And it's just being run off of the batteries and batteries I got here on the floor. Uh, this is just a little test setup. I wanna see if it would even work. So we're gonna go through it real quick. And I will show you guys how this kind of works here. Um, and my lights are directly overhead, so this is casting a terrible shadow. Let me go fix that real quick. Oh boy, my shop is still a mess. Doesn't feel like it's ever going to end. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but last year we were hit by uh, some pretty serious hail and I had to have the hole outside of my shop replaced. So it's been a thing. Been one heck of a year. So, uh, we got the grow watt running right now. It's outputting 240 volts, and uh, that power comes in here into this uh, two-pole breaker. This is a 63 amp breaker. You can, you know, use use whatever size that works for your workload. But uh, by default, it uh, the contactors that were in there were ABB contactors, and they they were uh, rated for 63 amps. So, I, I replaced it with a 63 amp breaker. So this breaker right here, if I turn this on, it, uh, it powers the auto transformer, similar to how the contactor would. And you guys have seen this device before. This is a, uh, it's just an uh, adjustable voltage protector. And if it gets voltage outside of its range, a program range, it will, uh, it will stop, cut off power in between this pole here and this pole here. And this neutral safety circuit is quite a lot simpler than what you guys have seen here uh, before. And this setup also uses no contactors at all. It's just using relays and a shunt trip breaker to uh, make sure that loads do not go out uh, to end devices that do not have a, a proper 120 volt balanced circuit. So let me show you guys how this thing is wired. It's really, really, really simple. We take uh, one leg from the incoming power and we run it over to one side of the shunt trip or to the, to the shunt here. Um, and then the other side, we've taken that uh, 240 volts and run it into this relay. And this relay here um, has you know normally open, normally closed contacts and I take that power, and this is the power coil here, and I take that and I run that into the normal, into a normally closed pin down here, which pops out up there, goes over to, my, to the other side of my shunt. And so what this means is um, with this relay turned off, that I cannot turn, I cannot turn this breaker on over here. Um, the only way for me to turn this breaker on over here is for my voltage protector to sense that there is 120 volts being produced, which I I grab a small wire off my neutral line. Um, I bring that over into the neutral, and then off from this leg here, this secondary leg here, I uh, I bring that over in to line, and and as this. So power flows out of here, down through here, uh, comes out here once it notices there's 120 volts and it, and it does its delay, and then it feeds into the other side of this relay. And this relay is a 240 volt relay. Man, I could have sworn I bought a 110 volt relay. It even says 110 volts right here on the top of it. 
it does not work with 110 volts. Uh, it did not. So that's how I have to have it set up. So what's happening is I'm pulling uh, my first leg, my first hot leg of 240 through here into this side of the coil. And then the second one uh, comes from here, uh, through here, down here, over to here. So this is a really, really, really simple setup. Um, I'm going to give you guys a, a steady shot there with my uh, my hands so you can see how this is all wired together. And I suppose you could probably clean it up a little more even if you wanted to. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what happens when we turn it on. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And you see the voltage protector turned on. Um, that clicked on it. And now you see a little red light right there. And now watch this. I can turn my shunt trip or my... my um, shunt tripped breaker on so I can never ever ever power the loads uh, I can never just pass 240 volts through here without this voltage protector um, seeing 120 volts and this is just adds a little bit of safety to your system is this as safe as the other system that I built no it is not um, what I'd really like to be able to do is turn the input off because if something has failed, I also would like to turn the input off, but that requires a priming circuit and to, to pr be able to prime the system, you got to have a button or a switch or some sort of manual intervention, um, in the, in the circuit. And, you know, some people might not like that. There is still manual intervention required here, uh, but only in the event of a failure. So... But this does ensure, this is what, with 100% assurance guarantees, that we cannot um, output anything out to our circuits um, through these three poles here if this voltage protector is not working correctly. So if you guys have any questions, leave them for me in the comments below. Um, I kind of wish, man, I, I should have put a switch in here. So you guys could see what happens. Um, if I disconnect this uh, wire right here, this relay turns off. Um, it will trip the shunt. Also, I'm going to show you what happens when I turn the power off. Watch this. Check that out. So it manually resets itself every time the power turns off. Which I think for uh, a, if you're going to have an inverter that is plugged in to the grid and you're expecting the inverter to do the auto transforming switch over thing for you um maybe don't use this setup because what's going to happen is when it switches from battery to uh to grid there's going to be a little bit of a pulse and this voltage protector protection relays are really sensitive and they will definitely pick that up and they'll trip the shunt turn off your loads so People might get a little angry about that, but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what I came up with today. It's real simple, real easy, no extra cases required. You buy this uh, uh, GrowWatt 11.4 KW uh, ATS model. Make sure you get the ATS model because it's got a little more space down here. Um, and you can add this stuff in. These are UL listed. Um, these breakers here are these Yuko breakers. I can't find any better or any other shunt trips out there that are, you know, maybe another brand. These are pretty much, there's like no supply out there of shunt trip breakers that are $400. So anyways, uh, that's all I got for you tonight.